lectionary. This past Sunday in worship, we looked at a passage from the letter to the Hebrews, and my sermon focused on two gifts from God, forgiveness and community. This week, we're going to be taking a little bit of a deeper dive into a few aspects of this passage that didn't make it into that sermon. Today, we're looking at Hebrews 10, 11 through 18. And every priest stands day after day at his service, offering again and again the same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, and since then has been waiting until his enemies would be made a footstool for his feet. For by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. And the Holy Spirit also testifies to us, for after saying, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts, and I will write them on their minds. He also adds, I will remember their sins and their lawless deeds no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. Well, it's hard to tell when I'm reading it, but if you look up this passage in your Bible, you'll find that large parts of it are in quotations, especially the part about the covenant making that's attributed to the Holy Spirit. This quotation comes from Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 33 and 34. And the covenant being made is important because of the medium in which it will be communicated. Unlike previous covenants, like the Ten Commandments, this new covenant that Jeremiah, and subsequently the author of Hebrews, foresee, will not be written in stone, rigid, and unchangeable, but rather will be written on the hearts of God's children. That's the connection with this passage's emphasis on the extravagant and unearned forgiveness of God. The author of Hebrews, of course, recognizes Jesus as the embodiment of this long-promised, long-awaited new covenant with God. And Jesus, throughout his ministry, does make a significant show of the transformational power of forgiveness in our lives and in the lives of those from whom we seek forgiveness. And so today I ask the questions again that we should all ask ourselves on a regular basis. Who is it that I need to ask forgiveness of? Who is it that I need to forgive? And what is stopping me from asking for or extending that grace today? It's a much harder question than it seems, and we would do well to spend some time with that question each day as part of our spiritual practices. Let's pray. God, thank you for the undeserved forgiveness that you offer to each of us. Help us to extend that grace to those who have wronged us. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me today for the Lockdown Lectionary. If you found this devotional to be helpful, be sure to like or share it on social media so that others might find it too. As always, there's a musical selection in the comments below. I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, be safe, get vaccinated, and wear your mask. Peace be with you.